So this area behind me is a new addition. Um, I let the chickens in here all winter long and throughout the fall and the winter, I put together these raised garden beds um, and I filled them with manure and soil from Christopher's uh, construction site. And it has and a few fawns, dead fawns that were too ripe to butcher. Um, are buried in there. There's something dead buried in every one of them. Uh, so all that decomposed and now it's ready to be, just be topped off for the season and it's ready to plant. Um, I plan on putting bush tomato varieties out here. There's a bush beef steak variety in the house that I'm growing. I'm going to try out here. Um, all of, like the brassica families that I'm going to try to grow are going to be out here because it gets more shade. Um, throughout the morning hours and stays cooler longer. This big raised bed, I had tomatoes and broccoli out here last year. I was not pleased with how it did, but nothing does well on its first first few years. Um, so I buried a few more deer uh, out here that I found alongside the road and I added more compost throughout the winter. I have already buried some red potatoes out here and on the other side I will do corn. I don't eat a lot of corn so we'll see how the corn and potatoes do out here instead of in the main garden. Um, carrots will be out here, maybe some bush beans depending on how much room I have left but now it is all completely blocked off from the chickens. They can't get in there and I put some Kentucky bluegrass seed down here just to see if it would grow. And if it doesn't, I will put another raised bed in here or I will till it and just plant directly in the ground. I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, Hey, what are you doing? Am I moving too fast for you coming after me? Lucky for you, I've got my boots on and you can't flog very well. Turd. So that's kind of the garden plan. So. I'll have more updates on that as the season goes on.